G'day and welcome back to Disc Golf Down Under. It's Matt here, and I want to take you on a journey, a quest of sorts. When I started playing disc golf a number of years ago, I played with a mixed bag of discs from Innova, Latitude 64, Dynamic, Discraft, Discmania, and Gateway. And then I discovered MVP, and over the following six to 12 months, I found great new discs from MVP, Axiom, and Streamline to fill the bag. But there were two discs that I couldn't find an MVP disc that was worthy. And after reading online discussions, I discovered I wasn't the only one. So this video covers my search for MVP's Firebird. Did I succeed? Well, you'll have to watch and find out. Before we dive in, a couple of things. Yes, it's been a few months since my last video and you may wonder what's been going on, Matt? Well, for about the last eight months in Sydney, Australia, it's been raining and raining a lot. We've actually had the wettest year on record by a considerable amount with close to two metres of rainfall between January and July this year. And it's a little difficult to make disc golf videos when the grass is knee to waist deep. Secondly, during this time, the channel has grown from 2,000 to 3,000 subscribers. So a huge thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Seeing the channel grow motivates me to keep coming back and making more videos. Okay, quick disclaimer as always. These are my honest opinions and I'm not being paid or influenced in any way. I always try to ensure that I've had plenty of experience with a disc before I review it, usually after months of use and at least 100 throws. So I'm going to give you my experiences and hopefully that will help you out. In reality, all discs fly slightly differently and you may disagree with what I have to say. And that's fine. Leave a comment down below and share your experience to help others that might be in a similar situation. So, enough jabbering, let's get on with the quest. Now, unless you're new to the sport, I'm sure you've all heard about the Innova Firebird. In 2022, it's the signature disc of Haley King, Zach Johnson, and some guy you may have heard of, Nate Sexton. And his disc has been nicknamed the Sexy Bird. The Firebird's now 22 years old, and at speed nine, it's classified as a distance driver, but in reality, it's a utility driver. It's a very overstable disc with medium glide, no turn and tons of fade. Basically, this disc is good at pushing forward and then going left or right, depending on whether you throw it backhand or forehand. So let's look at the statistics of the Firebird. It has a diameter of 211 millimetres, a rim thickness of 19 millimetres, a maximum height of 14 and 12 millimetres at the rim. It has a max weight of 175 grams and is available from 150 grams and up. It has a flight rating of 9304 and is available in Star, G Star, Champion, and DX Plastics. I have a 171 gram G Star Firebird, which is well and truly seasoned and definitely not as stable as it used to be. This disc has pretty much been with me since I started playing disc golf. If I was still throwing the Firebird, I'd probably be looking to replace this one with a new one. So keep that in mind when comparing the flight test later on. Okay, so what do I love about the Firebird? Well, firstly, it's a disc that feels great in the hand, whether that be backhand or forehand. Now, a lot of that might be because of the G-Star plastic, which is a little softer and it's really grippy. And in MVP plastics, G-Star is very similar to plasma. The Firebird's also a disc that feels great to throw. It's very consistent and the flight path is dependable. I love how the disc flies straight for the first half or so of its flight and then as it slows down it moves left without diving straight into the ground. So it penetrates forward and you can also get some great flare skips moving you further left or right, whether that be around a corner or out of trouble. This is also a great disc for those ripping headwinds and back a couple of years ago when I could throw a forehand, the Firebird was a huge favourite of mine to let rip on. And you'll frequently see guys like Nate Sexton, Jeremy Colling, and Greg Barsby flicking the Firebird. Okay, so let's now look at the contenders from MVP, and I'm going to go in chronological order based on release date. So let's start with the MVP resistor, which was released late 2013, early 2014. And now this is a speed six disc. So you may go, hang on Matt, but stick with me and let's compare. The resistor has a diameter of 211 millimetres, a rim thickness of 17 millimetres, a maximum height of 15 millimetres and 12 millimetres at the rim, max weight of 175 grams and is available from 155 grams and up. It has a flight rating of 6403.5 and is available in neutron plastic 
And if you're lucky, you may have picked up a Proton version of the resistor in the 2021 Gyropalooza packs. Next, not too long after the resistor was released, MVP launched the Motion. Now the Motion has a diameter of 211 millimeters, a rim thickness of 20 millimeters, maximum height of 14 millimeters and 12 at the rim, has a max weight of 175 grams and is available from 155 grams and up. It's a flight rating of 9, 3.504, and is available in neutron and proton plastics. And based on the numbers, it looks similar to a Firebird. Now, later in 2014, MVP released the Axiom Fireball. And the name perhaps is a bit of a giveaway on what it's supposed to compare with. The Fireball has a diameter of 211 millimeters, rim thickness of 20 millimeters, maximum height of 14 millimeters and 11 at the rim. It's a max weight of 175 grams and is available from 155 grams and up. It has a flight rating of 9, 3.50, 3.5, and is available in neutron, proton, and plasma plastics. So based on these numbers, you'd expect the fireball to be a beat in motion. Okay, moving along a few years to 2019, and the non-gyro contender from the Streamline brand. The flare has a diameter of 212 millimeters, a rim thickness of 20 millimeters, a maximum height of 18 millimeters and 12 at the rim has a max weight of 176 grams and is available from 165 grams and up. It has a flight rating of 9403.5 and is available in Neutron and the Cosmic Neutron Plastics. And based on these numbers, you'd think slightly less stable fireball. Okay, finally, our last contender hitting the market in 2022, James Conrad's Terra. The Terra has a diameter of 212 millimeters, a rim thickness of 19 millimeters, Maximum height of 18 millimeters and 12 at the rim. It's a max weight of 176 gram and is currently available from 170 grams and up. It has a flight rating of 8503 and is currently available only in the neutron plastic. Okay, so we've compared the stats, but let's look now at how they fly. So today I'm throwing in almost ideal conditions. There's no wind to a basket at 90 meters or 300 feet. The grass has been freshly cut and you'll see how these discs react when given a chance to skip off the ground. You'll also see some examples with the disc released flat and some with a bit of Anheuser for enforced flex. Sorry, no forehands, my shoulders just can't take it anymore.
Okay, so you've seen how they fly. Now my thoughts, and how did I go with my Quest? Did I find a replacement for the Firebird? Well, let's go from my least favorite to my most favorite. Okay, let's start with the flare. The flare is the most overstable of all the discs and has the least amount of glide. It has absolutely no turn and starts fading straight after it leaves your hand. I couldn't really get the distance out of this disc either with most throws landing around the 75 meter mark. So if you want something super overstable, then perhaps the flare's for you. But for me, it's definitely no Firebird replacement. Next. With a name like Fireball, you'd expect this disc to be similar to the Firebird. And yes, it's similar. However, where the Firebird flies straight for a good part of the flight before taking a turn left, the Fireball turns left early and I find it has a little less glide. And also, this is more of a personal thing, but I don't enjoy the feel in the hand. I don't get a consistent release as I do with the Firebird. Maybe that's the Proton plastic. The Fireball was my first attempt at replacing the Firebird and it was in my bag for less than a month before the Firebird went back in. So the quest continued and after the Fireball was ejected from my bag, I bought the Motion. And after beating it in, I was really happy with this disc. I found the flight of the Motion to be more closer to the Firebird with a straighter push after release, a little more glide than the Fireball and that strong left fade at the end with a nice skip. The Motion found a spot in my bag and got plenty of use. It's a great disc. However, I always felt that the Firebird just had that something extra. Maybe it was the feel of the disc in the hand or the consistency of flight, I'm not sure. Regardless, the Motion was recently ejected from the bag and replaced with the next disc. Now, I picked up the Special Edition Terra earlier this year and even without throwing this thing, just check out how sick the stamp is. I also like the feel of the plastic in this Special Edition Terra. I feel like the Terra is a little more softer than the Motion and has a little more grip, so that ticks another box. It's almost a shame to throw this one, but it didn't take me more than a few throws to realize that this is it. For me, the Terra has the same straight flight out of the hand with a good amount of glide before the stability kicks in and the disc fades strongly with some nice flare skips at the right angles. And when I was out in the field throwing the disc for this review, I found that the Terra was nearly always closest to where the Fireball landed. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on which version of Firebird you prefer, but for me, the Terra is now in my bag and I no longer have that doubt in my mind that there's something better out there. I love the Terra. Strong hand wind? No problem. The Terra. Need to fade hard to the left to get around an obstacle? Terra. Need a forced Anheuser Flex that must get back to the left at the end? The Terra. And if I was throwing forehands these days, I know the Terra would be definitely a favourite. Okay, now you may have thought that after all that, the Terra was my favourite of the discs today, but no. The Resistor is a disc that's been in my bag for years and I can't see it ever coming out. When I bought this disc, the online reviews called it the Mini Firebird or the Speed 6 Firebird, and honestly, that's exactly what it is. I love throwing this disc. It has that same Firebird flight path feels great to throw and is super consistent. For me, it's got about 10 meters less distance in it than the Firebird and the Terra. So it's great for those mid to long range fading up shots where the Terra is just a bit too long. The Resistor is also a fantastic forehand disc. When I bought it, I gave the Resistor to a friend who's very forehand dominant and they loved it. Okay, now word of warning, this Neutron Resistor is about five years old. This Proton Resistor came in last year's Gyro Palooza pack. Now, Proton's normally more stable than Neutron. However, if you're watching the flight test carefully, you'll have noticed that the resistor is nowhere near as stable as this one is. And if you read the discussions online, the Neutron resistors from 2021 are even less stable. So maybe something changed with the molds, but the good news is that I've heard the 2022 resistors are back to their former glory with plenty of stability in them. Okay, so was I successful in my quest to find MVP's Firebird? Well, yes I was. MVP's Terra ticks all the boxes and I can see this disc in my bag for many years to come. I also recommend you check out the Resistor. Yes, it's a mini Firebird, get one. And what about the others? Well, honestly, the others are also great discs and may suit your style or whatever you want to find out of a utility disc. Even James Conrad at this point in time is bagging both the Terra and the Fireball. They are different and I can see how they both have their uses. And if you want pure beef with no glide, then the Streamline flares for you. Okay, so finally, after three years, my quest is over and the Firebird has been slain by the mighty Terror. But what do you think? 
Let me know in the comments, is the Terra the MVP Firebird or is it the flare, the fireball, the motion or something else? Well, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe. As I said at the beginning, seeing the number of subscribers grow is what keeps me coming back. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.